Hello folks, this is Paul Bukowski with Online Business Pro Solutions. And today I'm going to review Mosh Berry's product called One Hour Workday. Now this launched uh, just this last Saturday. Um, as I'm speaking to you, that was actually yesterday. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the sales page, which you're looking at right here. We're going to dash into the dashboard itself and I'm going to take you through a little test run on this now spoiler alert I know people don't watch the entirety of these videos very often unless they're extremely entertaining uh, and it, you can only make reviews of this kind of stuff so entertaining <laughs> so um, my job the way i look at it what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to help you make informed decisions when you take a look at products give you an idea whether or not it's something that might be of value to you so i'm going to let you know right now up front that i strongly strongly suggest that you avoid this product and i extremely strongly uh, suggest that you avoid the primary method that they're trying to convince you to use. Now, if you want to know why and exactly what I'm talking about, you just go ahead and stick around. All right, before we start the review, if you have any questions at all regarding this review or anything really about making money online, please ask away. In the comment section below you can also contact me through skype at pwolf77 and my email paul at onlinebusinessprosolutions.com and if you are truly serious about creating a legitimate sustainable online business folks do yourself a favor click on that link below that says online business pro solutions and you're going to get free access to the 12-step action plan that i use don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. That way you're going to receive notifications when I upload more informed and honest reviews and value-packed tutorials. Alright, let's go check out One Hour Workday by Mosh Berry. Okay, here we are back in the sales page. Now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I know you've probably already looked at this, so I'm not going to tell you what it tells you. Um, in general, I would venture to say he hasn't done a terrible job as far as um, outright lying or anything about what you're getting. You have to take sales pages with a grain of salt. Okay, He basically tells you what he wants you to think that this is going to do for you. <laughs> and maybe he even believes it himself. Um, and actually, with some of these people, they might use some of these uh, concepts, which are, that's very scary, which you'll see in just a moment what I'm talking about. But um, Now, Moshberry, I have not reviewed any of his products. I can tell you that several of my colleagues that I work with quite heavily um, are not terribly impressed with him. That's putting it very mildly um, but at the same time I don't like to be persuaded that way I like to look at things for myself so that's what I've done um, but once again this is a sales page it's always talking about sales what I what scares me in this whole thing and I'll take you here basically what he's done he has interviewed 15 people who are supposedly heavy hitters in the internet marketing game and he basically asked them if you only had one hour a day to work and the challenge is that you want to build an income of five thousand dollars per month how would you go about that okay that's all legitimate that's cool that's that's sort of a neat little angle the trouble is when i saw the list of 15 people when you come down here you see the 15 people that he discussed this with these so-called experts I can absolutely say from personal experience and I will not name names but there are at least five people on this list 
who I would equate in the internet marketing game to basically street level drug dealers. And the reason I say that the shiny object syndrome is truly an addiction. And at one point or another, most all of us uh, get involved with it at some type, some way. I know I, when I first started out, spent thousands of dollars. I would venture to say the majority of people coming into work at online business are looking for an easier, a simpler um, way to make lots of money fast. And these people sell you those pipe dreams. Um, and, and the thing is, they justify this. And many of them will actually come out. You can go on Google and you'll hear them giving talks. And they justify it amongst themselves by saying, hey, there's a market for it. We're just feeding the market what it wants. We're giving people what they want. But that's also what people that push cocaine say. Hey, if they didn't want cocaine, I wouldn't sell them cocaine. Badges? Well, we don't need no stinking badges. Come on, man. Just because people are naive, just because people, you know, are, are looking for something that may be harmful to them. <laughs> it's our responsibility to try to steer them in the right direction, not help them spend every penny they've got to get absolutely nowhere. So, like I said, I don't know about the rest, the other 10, but there's five of these people that <laughs> I would pay them to stay the hell away from me. Pardon my language. So, um, I have to think guilt by conspiracy. A lot of these other people take anything they say with a grain of salt, please. They're not here to help you. They're here to line their pockets. Okay. So that said, I really, there's not a lot more to be said about the sales page. Let's just jump right on in and take a look at this product because that's really where it's all about. What it's about. Uh, this is actually what the dashboard looks like. And these apparently are some people that have done some little test campaigns. Um, we'll look at the training now. This is, I guess, the best definition I can use, scattered all over the place. Um, I get what he's, what he's trying to say. One of the things he's trying to get across, because he's also trying to sell an ancillary product called Task Killer, um, you know, he's trying to teach you to be more efficient. And actually, the very beginning uh, of this isn't too bad. <clears throat> That's why I'm giving it a two out of 10 or it would have gotten a flat out zero had not been for this. So in this little beginning part here, he sort of takes you through the generic basics and I'm going to go through it very quickly with you. And actually <laughs> everything I give you, what I tell you is virtually this whole product. So, Instead of spending twelve or thirteen dollars, you can get it for free right here. But basically, he's saying, okay, you go to Google, and well, let me let me show you this first. Okay, this is his format. Okay, this is the breakdown of the one-hour workday. You take five minutes to look, five minutes to decide, five minutes to validate, fifteen minutes to create, five minutes to publish, five minutes to get reviewed. And 15 minutes to market and then you spend five minutes preparing yourself for tomorrow's task that's his breakdown okay the first part of this isn't also bad when it when it comes to looking for content after that it all just crumbles down but let me so basically okay when it, when he's talking about looking, and I'm just basically going to use the format that he did. He goes to Google and he types in the keyword content ideas, or you could type in content sources or anything like that. A big list comes up. He chose, not randomly, he chose one, uh, a, a big name in the business, actually a legacy in the SEO world, Neil Patel. Neil Patel 
had a site that was linked under content ideas and it was a 101 content sources. So we opened that and his suggestion is don't spend a whole lot of time going through the whole thing. Just go ahead and copy the link, save it for later. Just go to the very first one and run with it. In this particular case, the first source that was mentioned was Quora, which is, it's a, it's a good, uh, online forum where people can ask questions and other people can answer them it's a great place to actually look for content so basically now what do you say you go let's see if i can get out of here neil patel also owns this keyword research machine device software it's called uber suggest um it's limited it's free on a limited basis um, you can purchase this for a price his pricing when you compare it with some of the other big boys that are out there is actually pretty good um, i have not actually done any kind of comparison so it's not fair to me to say whether one's better than another neil patel is like i said a legacy in seo world but what we're looking for okay he knows that quora is a great place to find out what people are looking for and also you know where people are giving answers so what they're trying to find is where what sources what's feeding quora okay so basically all you do is type in quora.com Come on, man. Hurry up. There you go. All right. And down below, you'll see view the pages that drive traffic to this domain because that's basically what you're looking for. One, you're looking for content that people are interested in, but you're also looking for where you're going to get the traffic, you know, where you're going to get the most views. Okay. So, in order to get people to subscribe, you build your list, et cetera, et cetera. So you click on this and it'll show you some of the questions that are being asked and how many visits and views are coming from those questions. Now, in his particular uh, example, he found the question, uh, how do you measure an inseam? And in particular, one lady um, had answered this question and found out that she had like 16,000 and 450 views, something like that. So generally speaking, when people answer questions like that, they'll insert links to their personal blogs or web pages, or they might have a landing page or something to go to. And in this case, uh, she actually did, you know, and he found that, you know, she had considerable followers. Well, the whole key to this whole thing is saying, okay, now you found a place where when you have developed some good content now you would be doing this for your own niche market you wouldn't be just creating content for how to measure an inseam you'd be looking up whatever area is of your expertise if it was hot tubs you'd be looking up hot tubs and you would find then that Cora was indeed a good source um, to start providing answers to questions and then inserting your blogs or landing page links or whatever so all that right there i would say isn't really too bad you can do that rather quickly and i would say that's perfectly valid information now this is where it gets it's just terrible from there okay he goes on and that's basically the training whoop, pardon me in the first section that's the whole gist of it. He takes you to that point where that's what you've done. Okay. This next section is where he teaches you to become a scam artist. Um, he's offering this software, which there are all kinds of speech to text and text to speech and the software out there. Um, some expensive, some free, some better than others. 
this is just some generic software that they're using but basically what you do in a nutshell you go to youtube and you find videos you know that match the keywords that you're looking for and you run them through the software speech to text and so now you have the text version of that and his suggestion is you just copy it and you insert it into these forums such as Quora or wherever else, whatever other sources you find, and you just label it as your own. Folks, that is copyright infringement. That is theft of material. Uh, in no world is that right. In our world, it's not legal. So that kills it right there like i said he wasn't doing too bad up to this point <laughs> and then he gets to this point and it's like wow all downhill okay in reality that's sort of the gist of the whole thing right there he doesn't really go any further into the software that he's offering to any additional training that's basically it what he does do over here he talks about, he has termed this term, uh, coined a term, I should say, tube demi. He's saying that you go to Udemy, you know, you find courses that you like and you don't want to pay for. You go through their syllabus and you pull out the titles of the various, you know, the course curriculum. And you just look them up in YouTube, find something similar and sort of, you know, create your own personal home course if it's a subject that you want to learn. I, I mean, technically, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just sort of this obscure <laughs> throwing out there. I think everybody knows you can go to YouTube. I've, I, I am terrible when it comes to mechanics, and I have actually fixed cars based on YouTube videos. So I think everybody knows you can go to YouTube, and find it. you just have to be able to figure out who's, real who's not real but anyhow so this is just this weird little obscure additional training he tosses in there now all the rest of this below are based on the interviews he made with these 15 so-called experts and none of these <laughs> you add up these minutes that they talk based on all of the things they're talking about they, they don't work that way it doesn't work that way all this is based on the idea that you already have a foundation you already have and know how to use a, a website and autoresponders um, can you get to a point in your business where you can spend an hour a day more than likely yes you know depending a little bit on at what level you decide to get to and, and where you're comfortable for some people they'll never stop growing they'll constantly scale out so no you're probably always going to have at least you know four hour work days at the, at the minimum um, but when you first start out you've got to invest one of two things and normally it's both but money and time the more money you have to spend, the less time you, you need to spend. The more time you're willing to spend, the less money you have to spend. Uh, my recommendation is you start from the ground up. You learn everything. You take your time and, and do it the right way. But anyhow, uh, this guy, he's just talking about basically uh, doing what they call business arbitrage. You find services that people are willing to pay for. You get the work done. By someone else you know searching through upwork and fiber places like that um, you charge a certain price knowing you only have to pay a certain price and you keep the difference it's basically it um, <clears throat> I don't know this gent well, I don't really know some of these people but uh, this one's about you got to learn a profitable new skill you know and then start designing doing content you know great content none of this takes five minutes and ten minutes this all takes time once again unless you already have a built-in skill the odds are you've already got a business that way so it'd be like if I'm a consultant 
and I work out of a brick and mortar office and I decide I just want to take it online, I would, I would venture to say anybody that's looking at these kind of products isn't in that position. These people are all saying the same thing, you know, putting up YouTube videos, creating blogs, doing your research, going to forums, finding out what people are asking for. This guy is just like, hey, just build an opt-in page or a landing page and just keep pushing traffic to it. Um, become a freelancer by learning skills on Udemy or tube to me or whatever you like <laughs> and then start selling your services um i it's just a bunch of hype to be honest with you bits and pieces of everything that these guys are saying are correct but none of these come down to a one hour work day all of the things that they talk about take time especially when you're first starting out the key is you need somebody to take you by the hand. You need someone to lead you step by step by step into this, not just this, just throw out this, Hey, you know, do this for five minutes, do this for 10 minutes and bam, you, you know, all of a sudden you got a, you got a business. It, it just doesn't work that way, folks. All right. I'm going to get out of that. Now, that's the training. That's the essence of the entire training. All right. Let's give this baby a test run. We looked at the uh, trainings of tutorials. We're here in the dashboard. Well, I was right back to it. Let's go ahead and create a campaign. Take a look at that. These are other people who apparently have set up some test campaigns. So let's see here. A new campaign. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make money online. Okay, um, copy and paste this, description, <laughs> will this be generic, how to make money online, bam, let's create that, boom, now, I don't know if I go into the dashboard if it's going to show this to me or not, let me see, dashboard, aha, make money online, oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'd experimented with it a little bit before this. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look and see. Here we are. This is our campaign. Well, really? A view? Okay, I guess we have to go. Oh, okay, these are all the other people who've made campaigns before. I've just got to go to the end of the line now. Now, this is assuming this wouldn't all be here. This would only be campaigns that you have actually created for yourself. So, all right, make money online. So, I'm here at this one, this how to make money online. So, you've got add a new job, view jobs, edit campaign, or trash it. Let's add a new job to this. Okay. <laughs> what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to find, based on the keywords that we use and the job description, um, it's supposed to show us YouTube videos that have content that matches closely the keywords and the job description that we've put in here. So uh, I'm just going to keep using the same thing just to make it simple. <clears throat> so we just input our information for a new job. It's going to fetch the content. It's loading right now. So that's working. Okay. Now it did a YouTube search and it pulled up all these videos. Okay. And they're all acquainted with making money online. Now, the key at this point is you're supposed to find, you know, one that you like. And it gives you some breakdowns, which, once again, all this is generic information you can do on a basic YouTube search. So, 
so far I haven't seen any really great bells and whistles to any of this. This is all things you can do with a simple spreadsheet or anything else. So, and, uh, and some simple searches online. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to pick this one. Make money online watching YouTube videos available worldwide. I click on that. It says go to next. Now, this is the kicker. <laughs> All right, here's this video. I haven't watched. I don't have a clue if it's any good. Um, it was work from home, watching videos on YouTube with this simple trick. And at this point, my options are to share it to, if I have a Pinterest account, to Twitter, to Facebook, and or, you know, to broadcast it out. Um, I don't know anything about this. I don't have any backlinks or anything set up with these people. So I'm just randomly shouting out links to other people's content to my followers. And if you're new, you probably don't have that many followers yet. Not related to your business. You might on a personal level, but unless you're like a, an influencer. And if you're an influencer, you're not going to be here. So... I might be missing something, folks, but I see this as absolutely worthless. It it looks to me like it's just sort of bells and whistles to make you think, ooh, ah, look at this. But I see virtually no use for this whatsoever. Now, what he was trying to tell you, sell you on, so this campaign thing, <laughs> once again, you can, of course, you're going to set up campaigns and you're going to have them set up through your autoresponder. Um, so the odds are you will have a spreadsheet that you use to keep track of everything. Um, that's all basic stuff. You don't need any schlock software out there from other people for that. But one of the big sales points he had on this was the content. And let's see if we can't figure out how to use this. Apparently these are people have already used it. And pulled some things up. So let's go to YouTube real quick. Okay, we're going to look for make money online. Paste that again. Okay, go to search. Um, they did say it had to be closed caption. So let's go to filter and subtitles, closed caption. Okay, they're saying all these are that way. 10 legit ways to make money in passive income online. How to make money online. Let's just pull that one since. I like the fact they're saying legitimate. Whether or not that's true or not. that got a lot of views. Let's go to share. Come on now. All right. We're going to copy the link. Come back here. It says get content. You're supposed to go ahead and put the link in for a YouTube video that has closed content. Or closed. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Close caption. Paste. Let's see if this works. There you go. All right. Like I said, this is a... They probably got, you know white label rights, some types of rights to use someone's software that is a speech to text software. You can find all kinds of it online. Um, some super expensive, some not so expensive, or, you know, some better than others. But generally speaking, when you do speech to text, it's basically if you or I, like if I wanted a transcription of this video that I'm making, because I wanted to use my own content on a blog post as well as a YouTube channel. It would make it easier. I would still have to go through and clean it up and edit it some, but that's perfectly okay. That's fantastic. But these people are telling you to go steal other people's hard work. Not only is that unethical, it is absolutely illegal. Okay, so there are penalties. Well, let's let's see if we can find out. Okay, this is the content, and, and grant, and basically they're saying you copy this. They've got set up. You copy it, and then you just go ahead and put it out there on Quora or somewhere else. 
you publish it as your own material and link to wherever you want them to go, whether it be an opt-in page or, you know, directly to a product or if you want them to go to a, a website or a blog. Uh, and you're basically scamming people into believing that you put out this great content. Wow. If you feel that's a legitimate way to do business, I highly recommend you unsubscribe from me because there's no way I want to work with anybody that has such low standards. Okay, but let's go ahead and let's, let's go ahead and just see. I'm just going to pull part of this out. Go to a plagiarism checker here. Okay, now, while that's running its little play, one of the things that he's trying to get you to get into, he's also offering, he, it's an upgrade, to buy into the software called Task Killer. Um, it's supposedly their own software they develop. It's a time management uh, format. Folks, man, I mean, they, they want like, I don't know, it's 20... So a dollars a month, twenty six seventy nine a month. Okay, here you go. Ninety seven percent plagiarized, three percent unique. You see the little bits that are unique there. Everything else, you know, it's it's telling you it's stolen. And theft is theft, whether it be copyright infringement or stealing a, a box of donuts or something. I mean, it, it's just wrong, folks. And that's basically the concept they're trying to sell you. But hey, don't just take it from me. Right here is a summary of civil and criminal penalties for violation of federal copyright laws. And I borrowed this from the University of Tennessee out of Knoxville. <clears throat> this is on one of their websites. And, you know, you can read this for yourself. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but... <laughs> It's illegal. It's illegal to reproduce and distribute someone else's copywritten work and take it as your own. You know, even if you tweak it a little bit, it's still wrong. Plagiarism is plagiarism. And anybody that tries to tell you different, run to the hills, folks. So, yeah, there's no way I could back any product that promoted this concept. Okay. That's really most of it. I'm just going to run through this real quickly now, the rest of this here. Um, you can tie this in if you have a blog or if you want to set up a blog. You can tie it in by adding a blog. You can put your information in here, all this. You can download a plug-in one-hour workday and tie this all together. They have all that. So, <laughs> once again, um, all these things are very simple. You need to do them for yourself anyhow. You don't need this to do any of that. And it's all based on stealing other people's content. So that's that's a ter terrible thing. They just have a section where you can build your profile here. Um, settings where you can put in your authorization keys and set up your affiliate sites, information. And then their support which, once again, I, I haven't worked with Mosh, so I don't know how good his support is. I'm not going to mislead you in any way on that. I don't know. Um, but this is like a landing page out of the 1990s. <laughs> I don't know. That scares me a little bit. Somebody is supposed to be so up on all the software and everything. Um, I don't know. That might be petty, but it looks pretty bizarre to me. And basically, then you log out. That, folks, is one hour workday in a nutshell. And once again, I highly recommend, highly recommend that you, you don't purchase this. But just so you're aware, there are also upgrades. Real quickly, I'm going to run through these. Let's go back to the sales page here. The front end is that one hour workday. And basically, you get that little training video I showed you and the interviews with the 15 individuals talking about if they only had an hour, what they would do. That's 1279 
Now for $26.79 a month, you can get their task killer task management software. It's a time management software. I looked at it. It's it, it's cheap. It's simple. Um, if you're looking for task management, you know, you can find all kinds of apps out there, all kinds of software. I've used Trello. This is actually an excellent tool. You can use it for free uh, when you actually build up to the point where you have lots of people working. You can get it for $9.99. Now, this is a robust platform. Been around a long time. They know their stuff. And these fly-by-night people are coming at you with $26.79 for something that I guarantee you doesn't have nearly the tools that Trello does. So, um, and that's the only one. And I'm not even recommending it. Right now, starting out, you don't need a, that tool. You just don't. Um, there's nothing you can't do. Like you, could, if you want it free, use Google Docs. There's all kinds of stuff there you can use. Um, there's plenty of free. Uh, well, even Trello is free uh, up to a point. And then um, Microsoft, if you have that, there's documents there that you can use. So don't waste your money. They also have an up, another upgrade. It's Task Killer Unlimited. So supposedly. So supposedly, when you get this time management software that you're paying twenty six seventy nine a month for, you don't get everything. You've got to pay an additional sixty seven to free some of the tools up on Task Killer. You can also get an agency license, and basically, that's to market your skills um, that you're using through here. Like basically, using the content stealer um, for other people for $67 they'll allow you to do that create your own agency if you want the resale rights for the product one hour workday it's $77 uh, they have what they call a gold miners club gives you access to all their new products and funnels for $39 a month so if you want to sell junk like this and you want to ruin your reputation um, it can be yours for $39 a month. And then they have the white label rights to market their time management software called task killer, um, as your own. So that's it folks. That's one hour work day. Run for the hills. If you take my advice. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Once again, if you want to contact me, uh, you can reach me at Skype, pwolf77, email paul at onlinebusinessprosolutions.com. You can ask any questions you have regarding this review, future reviews that you'd like me to make, um, anything regarding making money online, go ahead and ask in the comment sections below. Um, once again, if you're attempting to create a sustainable and a legitimate online business, do yourself a favor. Click that link below and you know, you're going to get free access to a 12 step action plan that I use. So hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell. Folks, I'll talk to you next time. You have a great day.